In part one, we're going to be creating our Blazor project. This is the way Blazor Image Gallery looks before you add any artist. We have, I haven't created any yet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a new instance of Visual Studio. So I'll just right click. And I'm going to create a new Blazor project. I'm going to select Blazor app. I already have it in my recent list, but if you don't, just type in Blazor app. It's the first item that comes up. Hit next and select. I'm going to give it a location. I'm going to put mine in GitHub Tutorials, but you can place yours wherever you like, of course. And I'm going to call this Blazor Image Gallery. Click Create, and then the first item that comes up is Blazor Server App. Leave it as ASP.NET Core 3.0, 3.0, excuse me, there is no O number. All right, and now delete the weather information. We don't need the weather forecast service, so let me delete both of those. And then open up startup.csharp. And I want to delete line 12. And then line 30, where it adds the singleton. And then now I'm going to try to compile. Okay, that doesn't compile because I didn't delete the pages. So what we're going to do next is open up the pages folder. And I want to delete fetchdata.csharp and counter.csharp because we don't need it. Those come with the Blazor template. All right, now we should compile. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close startup C sharp, C sharp, and now we're going to click on properties for the project. Right click on the project name and change that to .NET Core 3.1 and hit save. And we're going to go ahead and build again just to have our project built. And this concludes part one. And I'm going to come back after I go to lunch with my mom and build part two. All right, thanks for watching. In part two, we're going to create our SQL Server database and data tier. So let's go over to SQL Server Management Studio. Right click the databases node and select new database. I'm going to give the name of Blazor Image Gallery. Hit OK. Next, I'm going to go over to our blog again. And if you go down to the very bottom and click on the View Raw, and then I'm going to hit Control A followed by Control C to select all and copy everything to my clipboard. And I'm going to go back over to SQL Server Management Studio, click on New Query, and then hit Control V to paste. I'll go up to the top here. Next, I'm going to just execute. I'll expand our database now to show you what we just created. We created two tables, artist and image, and then we also created the store procedures that you see here. This was created using datatier.net. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I have some other videos on my channel if you want to learn how to build the data tier. Next, we're going to go back over to the blog post. I'm going to go back, hit the back button. And I want to go down here and I want to click on this download datatier.zip. And I am going to select that to my temp folder. Now here, I want to right click the folder and go to properties. And I want to go to unblock. What that's going to do is when you download a file from the web, SQL Server, I mean Visual Studio doesn't want to run it or it gives you a prompt for everything. So that's why we're going to, by doing that, we won't get that hopefully. I'm going to hit extract all and I'll just create it right here. I'll give that just a second to extract. Okay, let me go into our folder here and I'm just going to hit control A to copy and control C. Now I want to go back over to my project folder, which is in C projects and now I want to go to, to uh, github tutorials blazer image gallery and I want to go to my data folder and I'm going to just paste all of the contents there okay so now go back over to Visual Studio and here in our data folder what we want to do is select all of these and I want to right click exclude from project What we're going to do next is right click on the solution and say add new solution folder and this is just going to be called data. Now what we're going to do is add the four projects that make up our data tier. So we're going to say add existing project 
we're going to select application logic component add existing project again data access component add existing project again data gateway and then add existing project again object library okay next what i want to do is i want to just build our project and see what happens because i'm not sure at this point so bear with it we may need to add some new get packages okay they're actually added so next what i want to do is from our project here i want to add a reference from the dependencies we're going to say add reference and i want to add a reference to the data gateway and the object library and i'll hit ok and what that does is the data gateway talks to the data, data access component which talks to the database and the object library gives us access to the business object of artist and image and i'll go into that a little bit more as we go through the project i just wanted to get all this part compiling and let me make sure one more time it already compiles but i just i'm kind of a i guess neurotic about making sure my solution compiles before i close it the next thing we're going to do is build a connection string this is connection string builder that is part of datatier.net my server name is already entered here but for you you're going to need to enter your server name i'm going to enter my da database name which is blazer image gallery i'm going to select windows authentication build connection string test and copy now that that's on my clipboard we're going to create a system environment variable so to do that i'm going to go to search and i'm going to show my search box because i usually keep it hidden i'm going to type in edit system environment variables and it comes up i'm going to click down here environment variables and make sure you're in the bottom section of system variables you don't want to use your local section i'm going to create new and i've already got one here so i'll just delete it blazer image gallery and i'm going to paste in my connection string and hit ok and that concludes part two now we're going to come back in part three and build our web project okay next we're going to modify main layout.razor so i'm going to go over to our blazer image gallery project i already have this file open so what i'm going to do is go back to our little blog post here here's the code that you need to replace it with so i'm going to just copy that to my clipboard i'm going to go back over to our blazer image gallery project i'm going to select all this text and replace it and i'm going to hit con save and then close it and now i'm going to just build the project make sure it compiles before we start adding nuget packages now i've already got this project here installed to the data gateway so i'm going to install datajuggler.core.cryptography to the blazer image gallery project and next i am going to go over to the browse tab and i am going to select datajuggler.blazer.components I already have it in my recent list, but you'll have to type it in. Hit install, accept OK. OK, and next I'm going to do datajuggler.blazer.file upload. And I'm going to install that to Blazor Image Gallery. And then finally, we're going to install Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.Protected Browser Storage. And this is all listed in the blog. and hit accept okay and now that our project has the nuget packages i'm going to go ahead and stop this recording because i found out blogger has a hundred megabyte limit and i'll be right back and we'll finish out the rest of the web project okay now we're going to download the contents of the www root folder so i'm going to just click on the link i'm going to save it to a temp folder i'm going to open the folder i'm going to extract all Next, I'm going to open up the WW root content, and I'm just going to hit Control A to copy everything. And I've got another window here. This is basically File Explorer. I'm going to open up WW root, and I'm going to hit Paste. I'm going to hit Replace the file in the destination. That's for favicon.ico. And next, I'm going to cut site.css and go into CSS folder and replace the existing site.css. So by the end result, your WW root folder will look like this, and your site.css folder will be right there. Okay, so next what I want to do is go back over to our blog post, and I want to download do the same thing for the component. 
There's a total of five components, but it's 10 files, and I was originally going to create them, but this is a lot simpler. So we're just going to download the components to the temp folder again, hit save, show in folder, extract all, and then I'm going to go into the components directory, and I'm just going to hit control A to select all, and then copy, go back over to my project. I already have a components directory here, so I'm going to paste. And the nice thing is Visual Studio will include all of these files for us. So I'm going to open up our project. And here is the five components as well as our WW root content is all here. This concludes this part of this video. I'm going to come back and we're going to finish up the web project. Okay, now we're going to modify the index page. So I am going to copy this to my clipboard right here for the index.razor. And I'm going to go over to Visual Studio, double click on index.razor. I'm just going to select everything in there with my mouse and hit the backspace key. And then hit Control V to paste. And then now I'm going to hit Save. Close that. And now I'm going to click on the Pages folder. I'm going to add a class at the bottom. I'm going to call this index.razor.csharp. And then next, I'm going to select all this text again and erase it. And I'm going to go back to the blog post. And I'm going to select the next one. This is a little bit more text, so I'm just going to come down to the bottom of this GitHub gist. And I'm going to click View Raw. Hit Control A to select all and Control C to copy. Go back to Visual Studio and Control V to paste, and then just save my index page and close it. And that concludes this part of the video. Now we're going to modify startup.csharp, so I'm going to copy these using statements here to my clipboard. Go over to our project, and I am going to replace the existing using statements with these that I have on my clipboard. And then next, I am going to come down here to the configure services method. I'm going to pop back over to the blog post for just a second. I'm going to copy these services right here. Go back over to Visual Studio, and I am going to paste in AdBlazor styles and add protected browser storage. And I'm going to close startup.csharp. Next, I'm going to go to imports.razor. And I'm going to take these four using statements right here and copy them. We're going to put these right at the top of imports.razor. And next, I'm going to create the Gallery Manager. Add new folder. It's going to be called Util. And I'm going to create a new class. And I'm going to call this Gallery Manager. Add. I'm going to replace the existing text. I'm going to pop back over to the blog post for just a second. And I'm going to go down to the bottom of the Gallery Manager class. Click View All. Hit Control A to select all and Control C to copy. Go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to paste in the copied text and hit Close and then Save. Next, I'm going to create a new folder called Models at the same level as www root. Add new folder models and for this let me close that I don't need anymore yes we want to save that I'm going to create a class and this is going to be called login model I'll click add I'm going to create another class this one's going to be called sign up model And I'm going to erase the text for login model first. And I am going to go back over to our blog post. And go down here to... So I want to put it on my clipboard. 
and we'll go back to Visual Studio. Control V to paste. And then I'm going to close login model and hit save. And go back to sign up model. I'm going to erase the existing code. Go back to the blog post. Here's sign up model. Go down to view raw. Control A and Control C. Go back to Visual Studio. Control V to paste and close sign up model. Now at this point, I am going to go out on a limb here and try to compile. I'm not sure what we haven't done yet. Let's just see. Okay, good, it compiles. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna finish number 10, 11, and 12. Okay, next we need to create two folders underneath the www root slash images folder. So I'm going to do that through Visual Studio. The first is going to be the artist folder. So I'm going to just say add new folder, artist. And then next I'm going to create a new another folder called gallery. And then now I'm going to come back over to our blog post and I'm going to copy these three lines of code. And I'm going to open up the host.cshtml file underneath the pages folder. And directly above the head tag, I'm going to paste in that. And then I'm going to go back to the blog post and copy the, the next two lines of code. And this gets us our JavaScript references. Ah, wrong place. And I'll paste these directly above the blazor.server.javascript. And I'm going to save and close this. And I'll build our project just to make sure everything's compiling. Okay. This concludes the development portion of this tutorial. The rest of this video, I'm just going to. Here's the link if you want to download some images. I already have ample images because I uploaded those to start with. Here's my tool. Here's the link to random art if you want to create your own images. I'm not going to show that in this tutorial, but you can create as many as you like. The rest of this video, I'm going to run this program with some music on and just create a bunch of artists and their photos and upload images to their galleries, or at least a few. And then I'm going to not going to talk, but I'm, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any suggestions or feedback for future videos, um, let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.